Oh, we're live, we're live. Greetings people of YouTube land, this is Andy, aka Witchfire65. Yeah, so, I had a job interview today. Um, it went well, so well, that I got the job. Yay! But I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I want to actually do the job, you know? It's basically they're asking me to promote stuff, and it's like, oh god, not what I thought it would be. They said on the phone when I called them up to arrange the interview that I'd be making appointments, and I thought, okay, yeah, cool, making appointments, you know, just for booking in dates for when person has to go around and do stuff. Oh no. It's... I have to arrange appointments so that a designer can go around and do a free coat on their kitchen. Yes, the company is a kitchen company called Kitchens Direct. Pretty well established company over here. Um, which is all fair. Fair enough, you know. Uh, but... It, you know, like I said, I thought I would just be booking in appointments for already design kitchens and quotes, which the customer has said yes to. So the guy, then the guys can fit, can go out and fit it. Someone's just signed in on my own. Oh no, it's bloody promotion. Ugh. Oh well, guess I'm just gonna have to stick it out and until something better comes on something that I actually want to do uh, yeah, well. uh, however though the journey down there was a nightmare oh. started out f fine enough you know got on, got on the bus went into a sort of area into bit and it's an area near where I live. I was called my friend because he went, he went to the same company of I don't know how many months back to, for an interview, and so I could just find out a little bit more, bit more about where it is, and that was all fine and dandy. Uh, so we get into, so I get, so the bus arrives in this area. It's called Into Bitten. My family gets on. Their two elders come running up to the back, jump on the back seat, and start yelling. And of course, I have my music playing, and it's pretty loud. But these kids, Jesus Christ! They were louder. And I had a bit of a headache already. I had a bit of a headache. I wasn't. Had butterflies in my stomach because I was so nervous about the interview um, and a father comes and sits with them he doesn't do anything to sort of calm him down to keep him in control I think and the eldest kid was pushing into me gradually squeezing me up against the window invading my personal space Oh, for fuck's sake, don't be, I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to say to the father, could you ask you elders there to get out of my personal space, just move away, you know, could you tell them to keep, to keep it down as well, but the way things are these, these days, you know, you say, you say that to them, you, you know, you don't know what type of reaction you're going to get. Uh, you know, you could probably get quite a negative reaction. It's like, oh, no, you, you tell me how I do, like, blah, 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 blah. That's why I didn't say anything. I couldn't, you know, and it just gets worse. I mean, the mother is sat at the front of the bus with the buggy and the youngest. She couldn't control her youngest, so... She brings the, her youngest up to her up to the father and dumps her 
Tom's the youngest with the father, who is the young and the youngest child is still going out so he is out of control, is throwing tantrums, I mean it's just you know, and the eldest is hitting the middle shot hitting the middle child and, and I was sat there through all this and and I did that and, you know, I do that. The eldest, the eldest child, uh, eldest child's foot was digging into my side. And I was, just, oh, I was just getting, you know, it's just unbelievable that how some parents cannot control their children, just let them do whatever. And you know, there was my, and my mother was sat at the front with the buggy, um just looking, not doing anything, and then the father there was all acting all mildly, he wasn't keeping them in control at all, he was saying something, oh, could you, saying, oh, could you stop, just, you know, all politely and all that palaver, so, oh, could you just stop that, I was thinking, and I was thinking, dude, don't be, don't be, use feathered fluffy bunnies with them, take control, tell them to stop, forcibly, the, be hard, be tough on them, you know. You see, I mean, I'm, I'm not a father myself, but I have a friend, she has three children. They're all, they're all good kids. They are good kids. I mean, the, the middle child can get out of control, but she always brings her back into the line. And, you know, if force with a strong stern voice and most of the time her middle child does what she's told but this guy he wasn't he wasn't fucking doing anything he just oh could you stop that stop doing that don't hit your brother like that it's like dude use some force for fuck's sakes and it's like you know it's just one of those times when you just Ah, you, you know, it's one of the times. I know a few times. Thinks, do I actually want children, kids, children? If they're gonna be like that, you know? And, oh, ah, yeah, for fuck's sake! It's just unbelievable. He could not control control it, and the mother was doing fuck all about it. It's oh, no, oh, tell you what, that. Jody was a total nightmare. I was just so glad when I got, in, got into town and off the bus. You know, usually when I go on the bus, everything's fine. I can just sit there, you know, spread out a bit because that's what I like to do. Sit on the back seat, spread out a bit. You know, because there's normally there's hardly any when on the bus. When I, well, there's not anyone sat right next to me, so I can just spread out nice and relax, kick back, listen to my music, do whatever. And this journey, oh, fuck's sakes. It was a fucking nightmare. Oh. Oh, it's just... If the bus hadn't got into town when it had, I was quite literally on the verge of just saying to the father, be damned with the consequences if he had a go at me. So he would have gone and said, Look, mate, could you just control your kids, please? And you just tell you, this guy, your little, this little dude here, to stop invading my personal space. <sighs> oh, it's a fucking nightmare. Oh, well, it's just a fucking nightmare. Just, Really was, really was. All right, so I am Andy, aka Witchfire sixty five. This is Emily the Strange Mint Box, and we are Addies. Peace. <laughs>